NPRT World's health correspondent Nicola Hill joins us now for more analysis on this. Uh, Nicola, what is Legionnaires and, and why should we be concerned about it? Well, to start off with what it is, it's um, a bacterial disease that is normally found in still water, water that's not been flushed through. And it's got this interesting name because in the 1970s, I think it was 1976, more than 200 members of the American Legion were attending a hotel conference in Philadelphia and they became ill and some of them actually died. And it was found it was because of the air conditioning system in the hotel was full of this stagnant water and it's the bacteria inside of this. Now, there's um, experts over here in the UK are concerned that because of lockdown, many buildings will have been left empty. The water inside would have been lying still, it would be stagnant. And there is a risk that as lockdown eases and these buildings open up, people could contract Legionnaire's disease. Professor Anne Clayson, who is the, is, is the lead person who wants to raise awareness and is concerned about this, was telling me that there's a twofold problem. One, that people can contract the disease, but because of the buildings being left open. But also there's a risk that because the symptoms are very similar to COVID-19, a dry cough, a pneumonia, a fever, muscle weakness, these people could be misdiagnosed and told to self-isolate, which is what we're being told to do if we have symptoms of COVID-19. But that's the wrong thing if you've got Legionnaires. Instead, because it's a bacterial infection, it can be treated with antibiotics. So the worst thing these people can do is actually stay at home self-isolating, when in fact what they need is, is the actual antibiotics to, to treat it. Wow, that's uh, concerning. So, so Nicola, what can be done to protect people, you know, office workers, hotel visitors, uh, spa visitors? Well, the main thing that Professor Clayson is saying is that um, building maintenance has to be maintained and it has to be meticulous. So before any new building is opened up, it needs to have that water flushed through. She's really concerned not only about the air conditioning in empty office buildings, but hotels that have been lying empty, particularly ones who've got spas, because of course, as it's inhaled from these um, airborne water droplets, hot tubs particularly um, can be breeding grounds for this type of bacteria. So she's saying that, you know, any new building that's being opened, hotel, gym, spa, office building, needs to have its water flush through regularly. As far as um, pe people are concerned, there was some studies done in China and Japan that actually showed that some patients who had COVID-19, I think it was like 20% of them, also had the Legionella bacteria found in their system, which means that they're more vulnerable to contracting it because it's a respiratory illness, or that they may well be getting it in hospitals from hospital um, air conditioning systems. So she's saying that there needs to be a real awareness that anybody who might have flu-like symptoms, if they're tested negative for COVID-19, to then test them for Legionnaire's disease. Because there has been, not that long ago, um, there have been four people died after walking past an infected hot tub. You know, you, see, you think of something like that as being very, as innocuous and very safe. So it is meticulous flushing of water systems in buildings and testing people if they have respiratory illnesses that are not COVID-19 in case it is Legionnaire's disease. All right, Nicola Hill in London, thank you.